Hi, in this video you will learn how to create loading animation effects in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The beautiful loading animation effects you will learn to create today look like this. The first type is this one that you would normally see on websites. On a click you can see that till the time the website loads you will see this kind of an animation. And it's a very useful thing because this, this particular animation keeps going on till I go to the end of slide. The second type of loading animation is the one that you will see normally whenever you download a file. Now the animation that happens is like this. You can see that there is a loading that happens in almost a staccato fashion. It very beautifully simulates the actual loading animation. So let us see how to create these two beautiful effects from scratch. The first animation is this one and it's a very simple animation to create. It might take a little bit of time to create this particular graphic but once you have the graphic in place then everything else works quite smoothly. Let me show you how to create that particular graphic first. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes I am going to pick up this oval tool and I am going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle. I am going to go to Shape Outline and say No Outline and I am going to give it maybe a light grey color, maybe somewhere like this. Then I am going to make a copy of this while holding the control button down and I am going to place it here. That makes a copy of this particular uh, shape that I selected. Now I am going to select both of them and I am going to press control G. Then I am going to press control D to duplicate and then go to arrange, rotate and say rotate left 90 degrees. We are going to select both of these groups Go to Arrange, Align and say Align Center, Arrange, Align and say Align Middle. Now we have uh, four of these dots available. Press Ctrl G. Now press Ctrl D to group them and then let us go to Arrange, Rotate and say more rotation options and here maybe we can go for 45 degrees and then select all of them once more. Arrange, Align, Align Center, Arrange, Align, Align Middle. Now we have got these many number of dots. Now one final thing that we are going to do is to press Ctrl G for grouping everything and this time let us try and have one more copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and let us rotate this by going to this option here called Size and Properties and this time let us give 22.5 degrees and let us select everything once again arrange align, align center, arrange, align, align middle. Now we have the basic graphic ready. Now you can always fill each of these shapes with different hues of the same color. For example, if I want to give this a darker color, I can go to shape fill and I can choose the one next to the earlier color. As you can see here, this one makes it a little more intense and the same way I can go here and choose the next one. So like that you can keep uh, shading all these various circles in increasing uh, level of darkness and once you do that you will have a complete graphic in the way that I had shown earlier. Now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to press Ctrl G. Now we have a simple group that can be animated. Now the animation that I'm going to use for this is very simple. Let me go to the animations tab, open animation pane. Let me close this other pane. The animation that I'm going to apply is a very simple spin animation. It is under emphasis, it is called spin and as you can see this is how the animation happens and we are going to go to the small arrow to the right of the animation event, go to effect options and we are going to add smooth start somewhere to the center here and we are going to add smooth end somewhere to the center here and then go to timing and go to repeat and say until end of slide and say OK. And now when we go to the slideshow mode, you will see that the circle goes around and because there is a smooth start and smooth end, you can see that there is a simulation of the way the loading animation happens on any website. So that is how we create our first animation. Now the next animation is the one that you saw which is about that bar loading and it's a very simple one again. First let me go to home tab and let us use the rectangle tool and draw a rectangular bar. Then I am going to go to the same rectangular option and I am going to pick up a rectangle tool and I am going to draw the loading bar and this time it is going to be in the center and this time it is going to be of a different color. Maybe I can use yellow color and maybe 
I can keep this in a black color so the effect is far more visible. Now I'm going to make copy of this bar so I'm going to press Ctrl D and let me place this right next to the earlier one and let me make it small. Now let me make another copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and place it right next to the previous one and in all these cases it's essential that we remove the outline so that the lines pretty much merge to each other and maybe this time I can make it smaller and I'm going to make another copy now this time I'm going to hold the control button down as I move it to its new location yeah that looks good let me increase the size as you can see this loading animation needs to happen randomly so it should look like uh, there is the animation is getting stuck somewhere in the middle and then it uh, goes further so that is the reason why I am varying the sizes of these bars and maybe I can make it even longer and then somewhere towards the end it almost gets stuck so you really have to wait very very patiently so I'm going to have uh, a number of them available here and maybe the one final one is going to be here and let me make it finally here so you can see that there are so many different bars available so let us select each of these bars and we are going to apply the same wipe animation so let us select everything go to animations and we are going to apply wipe animation and the direction of the animation is going to be from left and after the first one everything else is going to be after previous so I'm going to select all of them and say after previous and I'm going to play with the duration for example the first one can be say around 1.25 and the next one can be 0.5 the next one can be maybe uh, 1.25 again the next one can be fairly quick say maybe 0.25 the next one one second the next one 0.5 the next one is uh, maybe really testing the patients towards the end 1.75 and the last one can be around one second so we have made different animation durations for each of them and now when we go to the slideshow mode because each of these is going to be wiping one after another at uh, different durations it's really going to be very nice so i'm going to select here you can see that the animation is loading in a very very interesting and staccato fashion so that is how you create loading animation effects in PowerPoint. Hey, did you like the video? If yes, please click on the red subscribe button that you see down below the video to the left here. You see, having good slides to present is like wearing a good suit in the boardroom. You automatically feel more confident and sound more convincing. You know what? You don't need to be a PowerPoint ninja to create great looking slides like this. You just need to know a few simple techniques to significantly improve the look and feel of your business lights. In Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, I teach you those surprisingly simple yet creative PowerPoint techniques that took me years to discover through painful trial and error method. Once you know the techniques, you will realize how easy it is to make great looking slides like this in the same time it takes to create mediocre looking slides like this. So, Please click on the link in the description area below this video to see how Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program can change the way you create your business lights forever. And to get a feel for how simple techniques can make a massive impact on your slides, I invite you to join our free mini training called 16 Snackable PowerPoint Techniques course. It is an easy course with 16 super short emails. Each email teaches you a simple 30-second PowerPoint technique you can implement right away to impress your bosses, colleagues and audiences. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. So please do click here and I'll see you inside the mini training.